Hi, Hiram here. Uh, the other day I did a test, or a couple of days ago I did a test with this uh, simple carbon felt burner with my bubbler using a soda bottle for a tank. Uh, to do the test I had it already going. I wanted to measure how much alcohol it had been used. But there seems to be some questions about having it already filled up and stuff and you know, all that. So I thought what I'd do today is I'm going to do the same test, but I'm going to use the tube. Uh, I have one fluid ounce of methanol in this, one fluid ounce. The burner itself is dry. There's no alcohol in there. I took it out, unrolled it, let it set out overnight. So it should be pretty much dry. What I'll do now is I'll put the tube into the bubbler and just let it go until it's up to where I can light it. And then I'll start a, a test with this. So let me get this prepped and my water prepped, and I'll be right back to start the test. Okay, just about all the alcohol is run out of the bubbler. I had to lift it up a little bit off the table to try to get the last of it. Let's see if this will light now. There we go. Okay, we got fire. Put on the pot stand. Here I have two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. Okay, now while that's on there, obviously this, oops, can't see it now. This rig, if all you're going to use was one fluid ounce, you wouldn't do something like this. Uh, you just use, you know, the, the burner by itself, maybe with carbon felt in it. This would hold probably that much. But what the bubbler is for, the fuel station, is for something where I want to burn for maybe 30, 40 minutes. So that's why I was using the larger tank. If all you were going to do with something like this rig, if you only wanted an ounce or maybe two ounces in it, you'd probably use something like Smoke Eater 908's fire plug. This is a nice rig. I forget if this is two or three ounces on here, but you'd use something like that. I wanted something that would last even longer. Uh, this, I don't know, this kind of a rig isn't something that would be used by a Graham Weenie. Graham weenies just don't do this kind of long-term cooking or baking or whatever. So let's just let this go. See, First I'll see when it brings the water to a boil, and then I'll see how long it goes until burnout. There we have 210, 211, come on, 212 and 1049, okay that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a boil in 10 minutes and 49 seconds. Now the thing was, uh, about five minutes into it, I started, I lifted this up a little bit because I saw air bubbles in the the hose and on camera two I think I showed you what had happened so the time might be a little messed up here let's let this go and see how long it runs until burnout okay the flame is just about going out the temperature is dropping on the thermometer even though the flame is still there so I'm going to call it as run out at 1730 Okay. Let me take this off out of the way. Okay, it's maybe you can see it there. It's still just sputtering a little bit. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees or 15.5 degrees centigrade. And it came to a boil in 10 minutes, 49 seconds, and run out at 17.30. Now, this test may not be uh, accurate. I was screwing around. When I saw bubbles start forming on the tube, I thought maybe it was just about run out. So I lifted this up a little bit to get it to all run out. 
as you might see it there. So there's just a, a little, little, little bit of alcohol still in there. It's stuck in the tube. But there was more in there before, and it kind of overflowed the burner. I showed you, uh, hopefully I showed you the, I uh, took some video of where it's coming out, and it made for a large flame. So that kind of affects the boil time. If there's a real interest in it, I'll redo the test and not play around with the, the fuel station. If you make these things right, you don't have to play with them. The flame seems to, the carbon felt with the flame in it, seems to almost suck the fuel in as it's needed. So that was my bad to lift this up to try to get the rest. Now I did have to lift it up a little bit on this because I could see that the the drops of alcohol in there weren't going, but I shouldn't have lifted it up and tilted it. Okay. So I hope that helps those that were asking for this. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.